Don't say that word. Wow. Okay. I've been playing with this camera for like 20 minutes. So this is the SVD from iTaste. I got it the other day from Christopher David. It comes with a little instruction book. This is just the closey uppy. Uh, it comes apart. The bottom cap. It's a nice brass connection. Lots of vent holes. Love that. And for you fingernail trolls out there, I painted my nails, so. Don't say that one. Sorry. Uh, this is a telescopic tube. This is a small one. Um, it has the option for a small one. Depending on where you buy them, you can get a bigger one. But you really don't need them. It, it will work with the bigger battery, the 18650, without the longer one. Uh, there's the base unit, fire button, up and down, the screen, the classic uh, Anakin screen that's like a little mirror, and it has, let me see if you can see this, of course not, I'll show that to you in a bit. And then this uh, cover comes off, so if you want to use um, it, wrong fit, upside down. So if you want to use uh, ego threaded devices that don't quite fit in there, you can always take this off. But it's I like that you can take it off for cleaning because it is a drip ball. So threads on this thing really nice. Although you're threading forever. And no, this is not fast forward. This is just me going really fast. I like using it in its stealthiest mode with a, an 18350 battery. That's the mode I like. Small, but so I'm gonna back up this a little so that it lets me do this. It's a very classy looking device. I'm loving just the look of it. It's very industrial looking, and you really don't need the directions because it shows you what buttons to push to get the results you want. So this one says VM. So for voltage mode, you would press and hold obviously this button and this button. How cool is that, right? Uh, to figure out the ohms of your device, you would press and hold both side buttons. Cool, huh? And for power mode, that one. And then obviously this is the up button, and this is the down button. Cool, hey? Eh? So the the battery level is shown as a color. So this is a fully charged battery. If it goes down to yellow, then you want to really think about changing the battery. There's another thing that you can do that also does that. So it's right now it's saying non because <laughs> there's nothing on it, obviously. But it's a nice blue display. And you can lock it. This one's locked in at 8.5 um, watts. I find it very useful, the locking thing because you find yourself hitting these buttons on the side to fire it just absentmindedly but I still have it Ooh. I almost broke the phone it's heavy but not too heavy 
But like I said, I really like. So to unlock it, you change the settings. You're just going to press and hold both until it says the resistance and keep holding it there. Now you can change it up or down. And it's very, it's a very simple um, menu, but it's everything you need and nothing you don't. Like it doesn't have, you know, date and time, and calendar, all that shit. Don't say that one. Sorry. All that stuff like the IV, the EVIC. Um, it doesn't have crazy menu options like the Bravari or the ZMAX. It has what it needs. And basically, you know, just what you want. And I like the screen. I also like using it with the uh, iClear 16s. Very nice. It looks smooth. And if you're wondering, this is an adapter so I can use my own drip tips on it. So there you go. I am actually loving this thing. So, how does it vape? <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Um, I'm really loving this device. It's, like I said, it is telescopic. It'll take up to an 18650 or as small as an 18340. I think you can put 16340s in here too, but there might be a little bit of a rattle, but it'll still work. Um, I just love the look of it. I love the look of it. I love how it performs, especially with its own uh, its iClear um, devices. I haven't tried an iClear 30 yet, but those are kind of too bulky for me. I like the 16s. And it's a simple, but effective device and it's cool looking. I can really does <clears throat> make cool looking. So I'm a fan. I can easily see this um, as being one that I keep whether I use it all the time or not because it's uh, it is a keeper. Uh, one little thing I want to point out is this is vented very well. And also at the top, that little cap that covers the juice wall actually has a couple of, of holes bored into where the dimples are, one on each side. So if you do have a tank that's flush, on the top, it'll still look pretty and give you plenty of airflow. So a short video on a really, really nice device. Um, I don't have any complaints at all about it. I like how you can lock it so you don't script the buttons. Now, it does variable wattage and variable voltage, so um, I, I enjoy the wattage only because I'm, I do the rebuildables and I still have not figured out how to control my ohmage. <laughs> so as long as I don't go do sub ohms, because this will not fire on anything that's sub ohm. It has protection. So um, if you're like me and you can't really control the <laughs> sub homage of your rebuildables um, probably script this is going to aggravate you but if I get I think it's anything below 1.5 won't fire on this but I'm really enjoying the, the, the eye taste the eye clears that come with it um, different vendors package it differently this one is just the device so just the tube so you put whatever you want on it some of them come with the batteries and the chargers and the iClear 30s, which is a, just a bigger tank. Um, but I'm really enjoying the iClear 16s with them. They're dual coil. 
they're 1.8, I believe. And why don't I check? <laughs> 1.7. Um, a really neat thing, even though it's locked, you can check the ohms. So it's, it's the only real one of the Z Mac options that I liked, or primary options, or whatever you want to call them, um, was the ohm checking. Because I used to have to use a separate meter for that. But I really like to just hold it and it tells me the homage. What else do you really need in a device? And it looks good. And you know when you look good, you feel good. Just saying. I'm <laughs> sorry.